the 2 2. And oh, and he catches another Colossus in the main base. Easy peasy, just jumps right on in. And this is going to choke up a lot of the Protoss army as well at the top of this round. He could actually jump on that Colossus. He could go forwards with this army and try and bring that down as all the Stalkers are going to fall. That leaves the Colossus exposed. He doesn't have any Stalkers. He doesn't have the anti-air to be able to deal with it. Out. He, he loses two Colossi for free. Here comes the buyout. GG. Fantasy takes game number two. A bit brutal here for Pig to deal with in game number one. Vani Research Station didn't go quite his way and he was on the back foot all game long. All game long. Absolutely here. There's, there's been very little that Pig was... Well, I mean, there's been no instant where Pig was winning. Starcraft 2, for, Starcraft oh 2 fans God. everywhere. Tweet. Fighting on the oh ramp God. as much as he can. It doesn't look like Huck is going to be able to hold this. The Colossus going down. The workers pulled so late. Oh, and Hucker, the Hucker ends up GG. Momentum. Another force field goes wow. down. This is a great little engagement position for him to be in. Trap some of the ruptures as well. Armor supply still even 30 more, but he's gonna get the hatchery if he's not careful. He has a very good stock account against very few ruptures. That hatchery oh, is gonna go great. down eventually, and those those pines they are useless. Putting this on the line, he's going for this all, and he gets that surround. Will it be enough? The Roaches do not have their plus one range attack just yet. All they have is their built-in armor and their attack. They take a good angle here, though. The Queen is tanking, and a lot of the Zerglings are dying. This Roach is holding. The third base is actually still mostly intact. Supply advantage big time in favor of Solar. It's the going to come in, so the damage is going to be dealt. The Hydras, oh, are getting focused on both sides. Might split the fire of the Colossus. Not even going to be close. They start to spiral quite a bit out of control. We got some ultras on the way. Where are they? <laughs> so far away from the fight. Yes. Good damn, ladies and gentlemen, states. Very, very difficult task ahead of them. 14 workers against 35. Hero Marine is gonna fight this one out for as long as possible and try and go for the counter attack here with Banshees alone. He spots the Banshees instantaneously. GG, and there you go, Lambo is the champion to really stop this they're walking straight into the barbecue as they have to retreat on out of here but they're just walking into the jaws of other problems oh he switches them back to hellions to turn on the chase here Kyla is he's on the pursuit and all of these are gonna fall it was a valiant game number one but game two and three really didn't go his way in terms of the early defense Lose this hatchery, lose a few more drones. There you go, GG. Actually, Stardust keeping those in reserve. It's focused, taking a lot of the fire here from it. And he looks like he's going to be able to finish this. He already knows. Yeah, congratulations, GG. Stardust is the champion. Now, that's a good fungal growth to start things off from TLO. It wasn't exactly the best of angles for TLO to come in on, but he just has overwhelming numbers. He has uh, technically 2-2 two -two against 2-2, two -two, but there you go, GG. Vikings, they end up pumping up there during all of this, and now the storms are going to end up landing on quite a bit of this army. Bio a lot of that, but Zealot's powering forwards. Another storm hits a big chunk of that bio down to the bottom left. The Vikings landed, but they died off as well. Rain with a big supply advantage. GG. Rain is able to take the series three to one after holding.